trademark examples. Let's talk about this. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about intellectual property, business, and legal. What is intellectual property? Think about copyright, trademark, and other intellectual property. In this video, I want to talk about trademark examples. I'm going to show you how it works, and I want to show you some example what you need to consider when you try to register a trademark or when you try to look for some trademark. So, this video is just to give you an idea what kind of trademark you can expect. If you have questions about this video or anything related to this video, feel free to contact me. So um, I want to show you some examples and I'm going to explain to you how it works. So first thing first, uh, we're going to go to the website of the um, Euro Euro European Intellectual Property Office. So EUI, ah, yeah. um, this is a general website. On the general website, you will find general information about intellectual property. You see here trademark design, law and practice, learning, and how about the EU IPO. But that's not interesting. Today we don't talk about the examples, so let's look some examples on the website. So you see here trademarks examples, and we press on it. You see some examples. Some of these examples you're familiar with it. Think about Adidas. Philips, Levis, and when you press one of these trademark, you can see the register number, where it's register, and what time. Let me show you. So this is the website. This is the database, and in the database you see the register number here. You don't need to log in to watch this. This is uh, open. Uh, yeah, open. You can get the inf those information. So interesting here is you see the name, the word name, file number, basic and classic. In another video I will talk about the nice classic or what is it and what kind of good or service you have there and why is this important. But all this information you will find it here. Good and service 35. So we are talking about Adidas, retail service in the field of footwear, clothing and sporting articles. Yeah, description don't have but yeah, it's interesting. This is a trademark, yeah? and it is straight. This register is filed since 2001. You can see it here, so we are already 20 years further than that. So, second language Spanish, first language um, English. I didn't know that it was second language Spanish, but this is one of the examples. Same apply for Philips. If you look at it, it's gonna look in the database. This is a database where you can find all register trademark and in Europe sometimes you will find some other registered trademark depends what you look for like this example Philips you see here filing language is Dutch it's uh, original from uh, Holland the Netherlands and you see here what mark Philips and individual and here it has more classes and this is important you see it also here to describe what it is what kind of class it has the trademark and you can change it in different languages but we're not going to do that I just wanted to show you um, this is how you can find some trademarks and some examples and this these are wood trademarks you also have trademark where you look at the image like Lego Adidas I think this is Adidas I'm not sure no Honda correct huh? let me see I know the logo, but I never know uh, where it's from. So let's see. Okay, trademark, which yeah, it's Adidas. Yeah, because sometimes you have some uh, um, fake stuff going around here, and you never know which one is real or not. So yeah, owner's name Adidas and Hogan Slovens. Oh yeah, I know this company. They represent the, this company. So trademark, yep. So that's another example, and these are a combination of image and um, and word mark. So Jaguar Power, Fugitive, and another thing is shape. Sometimes you can register a shape as trademark, but sometimes it's difficult to get it. So shape, and here you can see also another one. So positioned mark, interesting. Yeah. 
So um, the thing is with trademark, you can have a lot of trademark, but um, sometimes it's difficult to get the trademark. And this is a lot of kind, sound mark, motion mark, multimedia mark, a lot of stuff you can register it. Thing is, as soon as someone uses it, you can sue the person. Thing is, before you register, I always think about what is your goal with the trademark and what kind of brand do you want to create, and that's very important. But most of the time, people register a word mark, a figurative mark, figurative containing word elements. So, yeah, figurative containing some word elements combination. It's easy to get this, it's hard to get this. It's easy to get this because not a lot of logos look the same, of not a lot of um, figurative mark look the same. So it's easy to get. I'm not saying you always get that, but it's easier. This is just harder, right? Unless you have a unique name. If you look at Just Do It, I think it's from Nike, if I'm correct. So let's look at it. it takes a long, long time, but uh, here, you see Just Do It. And uh, yeah. Is Spanish, original is from Spanish. Here you can see where a uh, brand is from. If you look at the foul language, sometimes it's very Spanish. For example, with Felix was Dutch. I know it's a Dutch company. I think this is also a uh, Spanish company. Just do it. And here you see, I will talk about it in another video. You see the goods and service where it's registered for. Yeah, yeah, Nike Innovated CV. So it's from Nike. So I think it's a uh, project that is not created. And here you see the correspondence, how and when they filed it. And the file date, date is 16 May 1997. Yeah, so these are some examples. You can study this if you want to know what kind of uh, trademarks are, word mark, figurative mark, figurative containing uh, some word elements. And then you have shape mark, Shake mark containing some word elements. You also have that. Coca Cola, you see that a lot with shape mark. Uh, positive mark where you put it. And pattern mark, also interesting like Levy. And color, single mark. Um, it's hard to get the trademark of color. I can tell you that because as soon as you have that, it means you are the own um, trademark holder for that color. And if someone uses it, you can sue them. So it's hard to get a color. I'll explain that in the, on a other video. And then you have color combination, also interesting, sound mark, and you just register the mark. You have one example, motion mark, multimedia mark, hologram mark. But yeah, these are the interesting examples of trademark. Trademark can be really interesting. It depends what kind of trademark it is. And yes, so if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. If you want to know more about these things, feel free to follow this playlist. And if you have questions about this, let me know in the comment or send me a message on Discord. I will see you in the next video.